Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore to the east of the Church of Ella. Oh, I broke the fence anyway. I'm curious about these, like, gargoyle-y bat things, whatever they are. I'm assuming you're an enemy. You look like one. Hi! Oh yeah, they're enemies. They're kind of cute. I mean, bats are cute. Hmm. Glintstone Arc might be good against them, because they're a group. And it can help hit multiple. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Let's see if the pebble can hit him. It didn't even reach. Come on! Oh, they're going back to their home. They were all clustered around this. Just a golden rune. Okay. Well, I guess that's shiny. Could this be an enemy? Didn't expect death. <laughs> hmm. It's another group of the bats. Oh, those are new. Very slow moving slimy things, but not the same as the other slime things. Oh, there's a bunch of people clustered around what looks like a pyre. Hmm. That tree over there looks like it might actually be close enough to get to. Possibly. The map continues a good amount over that way. Hmm. Praise the tree. Yeah, it's a hell of a tree. Gorgeous. Let's go kind of down and behind where we started. What is this place called? The... Not the Stranded, the first... the first step. Should I try them in melee? Let's make it so there's only one left. I'll do the other one with melee. Oh! Wait, are you an enemy? Doesn't seem like it. Wait. No, you're kind of looking at me. You're definitely looking at me. It doesn't seem to be trying to hurt me, though. Hold on. There's something quite disturbing about that statue I didn't realize before. It's like a headless part of someone. Like, there's like a headless person standing, and then I think they're holding someone else. And the hand that's sticking up is very... bony. Ah. Freaking me out, but I really don't think it's trying to hurt me. 
Oh! Okay. You sure took your time there. Great dragonfly head. Didn't want to kill them. Oh. <laughs> we know what this comment's gonna be. Fingers required ahead. Uh huh. Oh, smithing stone, nice. The blood stain was from somebody dropping down, so if I drop down there, I'm dead. Ooh, you know what I should do? This would be a good place to test out the rainbow stones. That didn't really go that far. Huh. The sound it makes, I think the pitch that it makes is supposed to tell you whether it's, like, deadly or not. Didn't sound that high-pitched, but I don't know. I'll have to try it with some <clears throat> some other um, fall heights. Let's actually try it right now. <laughs> right now, I wanted to get to the top of that to throw it off, but I guess I'll throw it from the top of this rock. What a great fall. Hmm. Okay, it has to be further than that to actually break. No, don't throw it! Oh, well, I have none left. Big crabs. the skull off. Punt it at the crab. Okay, hold on. I, g I gotta get off the horse. <laughs> it's... I'm gonna launch myself off accidentally. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Came up a little short of the crab. Definitely should use magic against those. a bit careful about which direction I'm facing when I cast it. It doesn't cast like 360 around me. I do have to actually kind of be facing it or it has to make the turn. Ah, let's do an arc. Nice, three at one time. Yeah, they're very excited about the golden runes. They just like shinies. 
I mean, fair, I like shinies. Who doesn't? Oh, a side of grace. Oh, I can't be on the horse. Sorry, Torrent. I need my potions back. Let's get a vantage point. Looks like you'd be able to get up there. Huh? Someone else on a horse? Not allowed. I mean, the boss can do it, because they can one-shot me, but... Hey! Another merchant? I love your hat. Ah. Uh, you must be the new Tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a gill like fledgling. The dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. So that dragon that I keep seeing in, in streams and stuff, that's just, like, right down here. Uh-oh. Another boss I'm going to have to come back to, probably? Don't be a fool. Turn back before it's too late. Don't be a fool. Mushroom, oh mushroom. God, I can't wait to find Pot Boy. Whoa. There's a lot going on out there. I love the different like I was gonna say factions. I don't think the I don't think the factions are really the thing going on here. Um, but I love how the different types of enemies fight each other. Reminds me of the I think it's called the A Life system in Stalker. How you'd find different groups fighting each other. Either because they're different factions or like monsters attacking humans. I wonder if this is just for show, or if anybody can actually die. Like, are they actually taking damage? If I stand here long enough, will some of them actually die? I see one that keeps getting, like, downed. It does, like, a... Like, on their knees kind of thing? Yeah, there we go, on the right, on their knees. But I think they get back up. So I don't think they're really taking damage. I think it's more for show. Which makes sense. Oh, I bet my glenstone arc would make quick work of that group. It's so good against groups. But I think we gotta go to that lake. I mean, come on. Dragon? Friend ahead. Be wary of unfathomable sort. Rump required ahead. What? That's a failure of a sex joke. Oh. And you. Hello. I'm sorry, horse. I'm so sorry, horse. Oh, that feels terrible.
Maybe I should use magic against them. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Just gotta be a little bit patient. Oh, the Arteria leaves, those are the ones worth like 10 times what the other stuff is worth. So I think they're relatively rare. We got a big crab here. Oh, and a sparkly ball. <gasps> oh, right! The dung beetle! I've seen that! There's like a dung beetle that rolls the ball... Ow. That rolls the ball around, and I think it's kind of like the, um... Like, crystal lizards? Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, it's so cute, though. <laughs> oh. Uh, Ash of War unsheath. I guess that's what it dropped. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, they are fast. Okay, magic does do a good amount of damage against him, though. More damage to the face? Nope, same damage. This would be so much harder in melee. Crab eggs. Ooh, they look kind of like... They look kind of like cloud berries. The little baby crabs are as ever just too cute. Look at him. I don't even think they're trying to attack me. Well, actually, this one. No, no, it's not coming towards me. Oh, good, because I think in Dark Souls 3, they all tried to attack you. But here, it doesn't look like they do, which is a relief. It means there's no reason to ever attack them. I love small things. Why are baby versions of mobs always just so cute? They're just small. S-M-O-L-L. -L. Right, where the heck am I going? Oh right, I was heading to the dragon. Do I really want to do that anymore? Now that I actually have a decent amount of souls? Not really. Let's explore somewhere else. I'll come back there. Thank you for the meat. Time for safety. A nice fire. Yeah. Not that safe, though. Eh. 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 Bad dragonfly. Oh, right. This mob. Let's go right into that group and just... Oh, that is so satisfying.
Horse combat's pretty fun. Glass shard. Time for victory. Some greaves. Rickety shield. I need to look at my equipment. Yeah, let's take a look at... I don't know, let's read the description for the crab eggs. A nutritious foodstuff that warms from within. The flavor is exquisite. Only those of comfort and means know the truth. A crab's eggs are more delectable than its meat. How about the hefty beast bone? Thick, solid beast bone. Found by hunting particularly large beasts. Commonly used to make disposable weapons. How about string? Boasting no special qualities, this is merely a goodly length of string. Let's look at our equipment. So we found some greaves. Mm, is there like a compare? Yes, compare. Much better physical protection. Uh, significantly worse magic protection. Much better poise, as you'd expect. Of course, it's a lot heavier. You know, I don't know about equipment load. So obviously it's heavier. Um, oh, hey, it says medium load underneath our equipment load. So I think it just straight up tells you whether like you're... Yeah, like which bracket you're in. Okay, well, if it's from medium load to medium load, then I might as well wear them, right? I mean, if I want to wear them, do I? They're not really strictly better. They're just better against physical stuff. So I guess I don't want to wear them. Nothing for the other parts. We do have that new shield. Mm. The damage negation is worse across the board, so... The only thing it's better at is it's slightly lighter. No thanks. Don't have any other weapons yet. Okay. Yeah, let's continue to go along the coast. That is so powerful! That is ridiculous! It melts them. Alright, let's fight you in melee. I gotta melee something. Tried to parry. Did not mean to drink. But yeah, I gotta do some melee so my melee skills don't go to rust. Precious item ahead. Oh. Hmm. I also see a blood stain. Jumping required ahead. Hmm. Should 
Jumping into what? Just into the water? There's nothing down there. Like, there's no vortex. Or whatever those things are called. No, thank you. Behold, river. Bliss. That one's just napping. No, not anymore. Got a flask back for that. Nice. Try jumping off. No! Seek God. I think it's a subtle way of saying jump off. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we can get to that tree. I don't know, it looks close enough and there is something very pretty over there. A very pretty flower? Or maybe an enemy that looks like a flower? That could be the point of it, right? It could be like attract you in with its beautiful look and then it kills you. Oh no, didn't mean to do that. I meant to feed you berries. Have a snack. We mean such a good boy. Oh no, I just killed some random deer thing. Sorry. I gotta actually face them. That helps. Blood stains all along here. People that have tried to jump. Oh, are these new? Trina's lily. Oh, I want to look at the description for that. I'm totally... Oh yeah, here it is. Exceedingly rare to find. A light purple water lily that is on the verge of wilting. A symbol of faith in St. Trina dulls the senses, preventing agitation. Turn back. Don't you dare. Yeah, so there's no way over there from here. Whoa. The hell? Did you have to be so loud? I meant to be using my sword. <whistles> nah, I'm not gonna bother fighting those.
Maybe I will those. Well, they have like red eyes. They're like... Yeah, why do they have red eyes? Is it because it's nighttime or... Something special going on with these? Oh, the bird! The... Oh, no, that's not a normal bird. That's an owl. I haven't seen it before. It's got glowing eyes. Hello! So pretty. a berry. Is this one going to launch me to my death too? Praise the horse. Always. Yeah, I'm a little scared. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. So yeah, you do have quite a bit of air control. And if you jump into it... Oh, oh my god. Seems like if you jump into it, like, it doesn't actually launch you up. I think you have to jump at the base? Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, you really do have to do air control. If you don't, I think it'll send you to a rather undesirable place. Namely, to your death. So maybe if I pressed forward on that other one that was like kind of near the island maybe I could get to the island I kind of still doubt it though like how far can you actually go like this isn't that far horizontally compared to where we started oh can we get to the other side from that bridge I think so. Jump. Oh. Jumping required ahead, so to speak. Time for jumping. Oh, definitely some platformery bits here. Hmm? Something just died. A bug down there, I think. What did you... What did you die from?
Does this do anything? No. Probably for the best. I have to wonder why these tombstone-shaped things are sticking out the side of this, like, ravine or whatever you'd call this. Weird. How did that come to pass? Anyway, there's a lot of interesting things from here. There's some worms with glowy purpley bits. Those look interesting. And there's also stuff over here. Oh, there's someone up there. Are you an enemy? I guess if I could select you, yeah. Oh, they look like a caster. I should probably go for them first. Revenge, oh revenge. Okay, yeah, definitely the one I should kill first, if I can get up there. Behold revenge. I don't know what you did, but now you'll never do it, no matter what it was, you bastard. Don't you dare magic me. Whoa. Oh, there's another one. Magic missile. Mine won't even reach. How does yours go so far, huh? That should make things significantly easier. Oh, Royal House Scroll. Critical hit. Revenge ahead. Oh my god, look at that. God, so pretty. I need to wait longer after doing that crit so I can actually get a critical hit. I need to wait for them to like fully get down on their knees. Starlight shards. Used to gradually recover FP. Oh. Okay, uh, let's... Put that in my quick items. Behold, Edge. All these areas that you could never get to in Dark Souls now that you can jump. Oh, infinite possibilities for where to leave messages. You know, with all these enemies, this would probably be a good time to use the Lucky Foot. Boosts rune acquisition for a time. Did you just, like, chew on the foot? It's kind of weird.
That's so cool. Look at them taking their flag banner. So frail and just not really a threat, but just... You know that that's what they did before they became undead, right? And they're just continuing to do it. Oh, there's something just really cool about that. Oh, I think they're about to call everyone else with the horn. Huh? Trying to parry, trying to get fancy. All right, forget it. The lucky foot lasts for a while. It's still active. You can see it on the top left, just underneath the um, stamina. Oh, we got some harder enemies here. I'm going to want to be careful. Definitely want my free backstab on this one. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, got him off the horse. Whew. I got back three flasks. Nice. Treasure chest ahead. Oh, does this game have mimics? I'm going to assume yes. Great Epe. Probably not pronounced that way. Oh, this is going to be so fun to just break through. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Sexual. Next time I find a, um, place where I can rest. Wait, is that one down there? I think that is? Alright, let's go down there. Yeah, because I have a lot of souls to spend. I could level up a lot of times. Oh, that one's running away! It's afraid! Oh, I love these enemy behaviors. It's so cool. Yeah, that is a sight of grace. I can see all the things, like all the guidance of graces or whatever, pooling into it or whatever that is. Uh, what? Nope. 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 Mm, yes. Yes. What the fuck? Wait, I was not... Hold on, was I not dead? I thought I was dead. Right. Well. Never seen that before. Hmm.
I really want those souls back. So let's be careful. So you're telling me that that guy, that rando dude is a gigantic bear. Just a big man bear. That total normie. That utter normcore guy. If I just don't kill them, they won't transform? Maybe. I'm curious what the... What the messages say. Didn't expect strong foe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Regret ahead. Didn't expect beast. Beast ahead. Run, 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 run. It's coming towards me. Go away. Ah. I assume that, yeah, that reset them back up there. Good. Right. Two of the things that I've gotten that I was wondering what to do with. One of them is the Royal House Scroll, which is a key item. Give to a learned sorcerer to acquire new sorceries. So I have to give that to someone. Can't do that yet. The other one is I got a new Ashes of War, or a couple Ashes of War. Basically weapon abilities. I'm not sure if any of these can actually be used on my current weapon, but I can't use them yet until I obtain the Whetstone Knife, apparently. Which, minor spoiler, but I don't think it's a big deal. Apparently, that tool is in the Gatefront Ruins. So basically, don't need to worry about any of that stuff just yet. Let's level up. Vigor gives me more HP. I really need more HP. Like, so bad. <laughs> so, so bad. Two, three, four, five, I can level up five times. Oh, you know what? I have a lot of, um, golden runes. 17. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, actually, before I level up, let me see if there's anything I want to work towards. I definitely want Vigor, but like, equipment-wise. Mm, we just have the one staff. What about the sword? So we just got the Great Epe. I can't... Uh, I don't have the stats to use that right now. I am missing out on strength... Oh, strength index. Yeah, that's gonna... I have 8 strength, I need 15. I have 12 dex, I need 16. That would be a lot to work towards. It's a heavy thrusting sword. If it's heavy, does that mean it needs to be two-handed? I guess probably not. Large club. Just requires a shit ton of strength. Definitely not going for that. Okay, I don't think I'm going for any of these. And armor-wise, do I want any of these? I think the whole set of Godric stuff is not really better, just different. Again, more physical, less like elemental protection. And of course it's heavier, and that's all Godric stuff. So I don't think I want to wear any of that. Well, in that case, let's just go for whatever the heck we want, I guess. A lot of vigor. I want more health, so I stop getting one-shotted by everything. We're going to gain more than 100 hit points. Gosh, that's going to be a lot. Also, just more defense against everything as well. Now, what does the other stuff do? So, mind... Well, intelligence is our highest stat. That is... Mm, I'm sure it's used for sorceries. I'm just not exactly sure in what way. What about mind? Ah, mind increases your FP pool. So that's pretty vital. Endurance will give you more max equip load. Oh, quite a bit, too. Just one point takes us from 46.6 to 48.2. And increases our stamina, which is also always a good thing. And increases our defense. Physical defense, anyway. Oh, and, and elemental defense as well. 
just a little bit slower. Hmm. I mean, I do want to wear heavier armor. I don't want to be just on light armor. Let's put a point into that. Strength, I feel no need to. I guess we don't need Faith or Arcane with our current build as an astrologer. I guess it's just mind and intelligence. I don't know, let's do another point into dex. Our health bar has got to be so much bigger. Yes, look at that. Oh, that is so much bigger. Of course, our Flask of Crimson Tears doesn't heal anymore, unfortunately, but... Eh. Crab! Indeed. I applaud that message. It is true. For there is crab. Let's craft a bunch of fire pots. Why the heck not? And with that, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I am going to try to see if I can take out that beast that is within that average-looking Joe. <laughs> <laughs>